All right, so in this part two of the thermal stress analysis uh, assignment, we're going to use some scripts to read and write temperature data to the output database file. Now, I'm going to make this one kind of short and sweet. The, uh, there's a couple other videos I want you to watch that go along with this. And let me uh, bring up my YouTube page. Uh, before you start your analysis uh, and run these scripts, Please just watch AEM 535 basic script to read data from an ODB file, basic script to write <coughs> temperature data to an ODB file. Now we're going to use the thermal.odb file that we just created in part one. Let's find that. It's in my temp folder and uh, here it is. I'll try to provide a copy of that for you. And I also want to have a, uh, a backup copy of that, so there should be a, a copy uh, in my folder as well. Okay. Now this thermal copy, uh, let me delete this. I want to make a, a file called thermalcopy.odb. We're going to read from thermal and we're going to write into thermal copy. Interesting thing about ODB files is you cannot overwrite any results. You can only add to the results in the ODB file. Now there are two scripts that uh, I want you to, to use. One called reader.py. Let's see if I can find that. And I'll provide this to you and one called writer.py. So in the ODB name we're going to have thermal. We're going to read from step 2. We're going to read frame 150. Let's go ahead and look at frame 150 from the file thermal. Let me bring up Abacus. And this will work with the teaching edition as well as the research edition. So we're going to read from the file thermal and we're going to write from the file, uh, write to the file, where is it at, uh, thermal copy. It should be in here. Sorry, this is the reader uh, script, so it's only going to read from thermal. It's going to write some results out into an Excel type file format. All right, so we I have started up uh, Abacus, and what we're going to do is we can go File, Run Script. You can do this from the command prompt too. That's explained in those other videos. I'm going to select the reader.py, and it's uh, running. You see, it's printing out nodes and temperatures. And if we go up into our temp folder. It's going to write it to a file called results.xls. Open this, it's going to say it's not a, really an Excel file. It's a tab delimited Excel file, that's fine. It has a header line, and here are the, the node numbers and the temperatures. Let's load up thermal.odb. Take a look at those temperatures. And I selected frame 150. Just double click there. I'm going to take a look for frame 150. There it is. And I'm going to apply. And so it has a range of temperatures. Looks like the minimum is 773.6. The maximum is 848.7. And just to kind of make sure that makes sense, let's do a um, a function here at max and then I'm going to select by holding uh, shift and hitting end down and select all that and hit enter 
So my maximum is 848.66. And here it's 848.7. Okay, that's good. Let's check out the minimum. Seven seven three point six. Let's see, seven seven three point six. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that it has uh, read all of the nodal information for the temperature uh, from this file. Now it's possible in scripting to read other variables, stresses, and whatnot. Uh, since we're doing the thermal analysis, uh, let's we're just doing temperature this time. All right. So that's the reader script. Right. Now we're going to do a writing script. And to do that, we're going to write to all of these same nodes. And I'm going to put in a temperature of uh, minus 100, just so we have something to, to look at. And I have a, another file that I just made. So here I copied all the node numbers. Here I copied down all of the temperatures. And they have to go into specific files. Let's take a look at the writer. So writer.py, it's going to read from thermal, and it's going to write into thermalcopy.odb. It's going to read step two, frame 150. It's going to copy the entire frame into the file. If you don't want that, you can comment this out. And uh, if you have different parts and stuff like that, you may have to change this. It's going to write it into a step called test step 3, increment 0, okay. user defined temperature field. And then it's going to do something else. It's going to read in the node list, uh, node list.txt file. And as a separate file, it's going to read in values.txt. And this is the Python stuff that makes that happen. And it's going to write it out to increment number 1. So it's going to write increment 0 and increment 1 into thermal copy. Now, if you run this once, you have to get rid of thermal copy and start over again with a fresh version of thermal copy. Because like I said, you cannot overwrite results. And if we have done it once, we've already written increment 0 and 1 into test step 3. Just keep that in mind as you do this. So now here's the writer.py. Now, uh, one thing to be a little careful about on this is uh, you need to copy these things into separate text files, one called node list, one called values. And if you do that, you'll probably end up with a situation like this where you have a blank line at the end of the file. You do not want that. You need to get rid of that blank line by uh, hitting return or backspace get rid of that and then save this. The same thing for the values. Now, If you had different temperatures you want to put in, you just put in whatever you want. I'm going to put in minus 100 because it's easy to copy that. Okay, So now we're going to go to, I want this window to be up here. Uh, now we're going to go to uh, file, run script, and now we're going to select the writer.py. Now I tried this earlier and it worked, but it also crashed my Abacus CAE session. So keep that in mind. It's probably going to crash it. If it does, we'll load the file in and it'll be all right. Uh, kind of keep this picture in mind for a moment. I'm going to hit OK on this one. Uh, not sure what the deal with that was. Um, We will find out in just a second. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, check out the thermal copy. Okay, that's the same size as thermal ODB. I think I had it open in a session, so uh, let's close that whole thing out. So let's try this again. We're gonna. I closed out all my ODB files. We're gonna go file, run script. Uh, writer.py okay it already exists All right, so I'm going to have to start fresh like I talked about these things happen 
Now you see this lock file, we can get rid of that. Close those out again. All right, let's get rid of that lock file. Okay, it's gone. So I'm going to take and I'm going to delete this thermal copy file. And I'm going to paste this. It's thermal copy. Let's try this one more time. So now to get that error. All right, so now thermal copy is loaded into my results. Let's take a quick look at this. I now have a new step called test step three, and it has two frames. Frame zero, if I do the contour of temperature, uh, you see how it looks just like that frame 150. We copied into there, and then I go to frame one and everything is at minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to give you those scripts. I'll put them on our box file. Let me show you where that's going to be. I'll also upload them to my website, uh, mbarkey.com. Uh, and if you're not in my class, you can access those files from there. On the box account, there will be a uh, file here called Homework Part homework 6 part 2 dot zip okay so it'll be in this folder and you can grab that all right that's all I want to do for now uh, but as you might imagine there this is fairly powerful you can write all kinds of results to the output database file and uh, uh, then you can do an additional thermal stress analysis from that or or whatever you want to do all right sounds good